Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Newtopia for the TurboGrafx-16, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now, before I got to Dungeon 5, I decided to pick up some more Medicine of Vitality, just to give me more health if I'm running into danger. Unfortunately, when you leave a dungeon and then come back, the rooms you went into have been cleared. I mean, the map is as if you were just entering the dungeon for the first time. The good news is I still got the crystal and the treasure that I got here with that sword. So it's not like I gotta get the treasures all over again. It's just like I gotta remember where I was. I wonder if the um, rooms or the walls that I bombed will stay bombed. I don't know, let's find out. Yeah, sure looks like it. Ow. Well, actually, it doesn't look like I have any clues as to whether it's still bombed or not. But even if it is, it doesn't matter. I just gotta remember that I should try going upward and to the right this time. Because I haven't been there yet. It would be nice to check it out. Just to see if I'm any closer to where I need to be. Coordination! Good thing I still got that powerful sword. And I can kill enemies in two strikes. Oh, I see something. Oh, it's just bombs. That's nothing too special. Oh well. At least we know what's in that chest now. I'm guessing if I go all the way up and to the right, I should get to the key. Because I haven't been there yet. And unfortunately, i got to deal with this whiz robe ripoff again. This time i got to be extra careful, and unfortunately I wasn't. Ow, cheap shot. Good thing I picked up some more medicine. Because you're going to need it. Dear God, you're going to need it. This game just likes to throw everything at you all at once. So you better be on your toes at all times. Or in this case, if you're just laying down on the bed like I am, just be on your ass cheeks at all times. You probably have your toes aiming upward because you're just laying down or sitting down or something, but that's none of my business. Hell, you could be playing upside down, I don't care. I just prefer a more comfortable pose. Or posture, whatever you want to call it. Want to play my games. You gotta be comfortable, right? Damn! Of course you'd give me a cheap shot. Okay, that's a fake. Damn it. Damn it! There! God, all this just to look for a key? I don't even know if I am going the right way. Hell, I could be going the wrong way. I know what way leads to the boss, and it's not the way I'm going right now. That's actually to the left. Thank God, I got a cherry. God, when I was looking for medicine, that I was getting cherries when I had full health, and that was total bastardization. Because I mean, if I need health, oh, I'm not going to get any. But when I don't need health, guess what happens? That's like getting a paycheck when you're rich and getting nothing when you're poor. I mean, come on now. That's just a kick in the teeth. Come on. Just get over here so I can kill you. Thank you. Ah, it was just black. Cool. Okay, I wonder what's in here, dude. I'm gonna kill this enemy in there. Yeah, I just gotta find the right block to push. This one? No. This one? This one? How about this one? Come on, it's gotta be one block I gotta push. Yes. Pretty much making a rotation now. What, what black am I supposed to push? Oh, is this one? 
There, finally I got the key. Now I gotta go all the way back to the left. So I can get to the boss. Oh well, it's gotta be done, right? It's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. And I think it's gonna be me. Oh, there's actually no choice. And I think I just went the wrong way. I went the way where the sword is. I was thinking I could have gone down. <sighs> Cheap shot! I hate collision damage, because it's the worst kind of damage you gotta take in this game. It pisses you off to no end, because you got such a huge sprite, and your weapon is so much smaller, you aim in the middle in front of you, and enemies can hit you in ways you think they would never would if this game was made modern. Sorry, I'm just getting a little frustrated. But I digress. Let us move on. Could I have blown this ball up? No, I couldn't. Because I'm going back down. Damn it! Sorry, I get frustrated easily with a game like this. I mean, I like this game. I really do. Don't get me wrong. I like Newtopia. It's just that there are some things that frustrate me with it. I mean, come on, we all have our favorite game and there's always that one little niche that gets on our nerves. Like, I'm pretty sure you can think of one. It's like, when you're playing Zelda, we all know Zelda is our favorite game for most of us. We played Zelda 1 all the way to shit and we loved it. But what was that one thing that pissed us off? Oh, that's right, it was the Wiz Robes. And how they can easily annoy you. Oh, and the like-likes, too. Let's not forget about them. So yeah, you can love a game to tears and find one thing wrong with it. That's common. I mean, that's just how it is. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, right. It turns out the walls are reset. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to go in here and take on the boss. And it's a crub! Okay, remember I gotta aim at its eyes when its mouth is open. I'll just stay over here because I can't get hit that way. But unfortunately I have a hard time hitting him. You can use the fire wand if you want. It actually makes it a lot easier. Ow! Come on, open your mouth. Oh, he's not gonna open his mouth, isn't he? Hit the weakness for maximum damage! Alright, this is my chance. Oh, come on! Oh, bullshit! How the hell are you supposed to hit this thing? By the time you get a chance to hit it, he already has his weakness covered. Alright, why don't I try something a little unorthodox? Like bombs, for instance. Maybe that'll work. Many people will tout this as one of the hardest bosses in this game. Oh, it see, when you get a chance to open, get to the weakness, it's too late. Okay, so I gotta, like, stick to the side, and hopefully he'll open his mouth in time. Okay, well, okay, okay, that's gonna work, that'll work. As long as he doesn't shoot me. Because this is a bad spot to be right now. Just get him to open his mouth so I can attack. But sometimes he just doesn't want to do it at all. Like, look at this, you could be here forever. Damn it. I like one of these bubbles takes like one whole bar from you. 
Yep, one whole entire bar. Very frustrating boss to deal with. Probably the most frustrating in the entire game. That's how bad it is. I'm just gonna keep picking my spots. I'm getting a little better now. Which is good news. Like, there's one strategy to avoid damage altogether, but I'm not using it because it is so tedious. It could take you like five minutes to beat this boss. I can only get like one stab at a time before it closes his mouth again. I mean, by the time I hit it, it gets knocked right back. And the bubble's gonna be right in front of it, so you have no chance to counter, like get a second hit in. Let's see that I can't flip him over to his weak spot for maximum damage. Oh, I got him! Finally! I didn't have to use my second dose of medicine. Oh my god, if I die here, I'm gonna be so pissed. Like, this will be the most embarrassing thing to do, to finally beat the boss, and then die to this thing. Just imagine if that happens. Thank God! Finally, I got the fifth medallion. So I can get out of here, get a health upgrade, and look for the sixth dungeon. Yes, yeah, so I give me my health upgrade, bitch. There. Ah, blah, blah, I don't want to hear your crap. Okay, I'm going to stop the video right here. And then the next part, I'm going to get some more medicine and head back to the sea spear. Alright, goodbye everyone.